Thank you for purchasing an RF Explorer Rack Pro. By default, the Rack Pro displays a live spectrum scan when powered on. The scan shows frequency along the x-axis and amplitude along the y-axis. The main screen displays a number of icons on the left. The first icon is the highest amplitude displayed. The second is the status of the USB connection. The third, the number of sweeps the Rack Pro performs per second. This number is determined by the frequency span, which we'll show you how to set momentarily. The fourth is the units chosen to display amplitude. The fifth is calculator mode, which we'll explain later in this video. The sixth is DSP mode, which you don't need to worry about. And the final icon is the lowest amplitude displayed. The Rack Pro can be customized to your individual spectrum analysis needs. Here's how to navigate between the Rack Pro settings and options. To change settings, press the menu button. Different menus for different options are shown each time the menu button is pressed. You can also use the right or left arrow buttons to switch between menus. To select individual options within menus, press enter. For options with preset values or settings, change available options by hitting enter again. For options that require numbers to be manually entered, use the left and right arrows to select the decimal unit and the up and down arrows to select between 0 and 9 within that unit. To return to the menu while changing an option, press return. To return to the scan from a menu, press return. There are three menus available, the frequency menu, the attenuator menu, and the configuration menu. Let's begin with the frequency menu. The Rack Pro can be programmed to scan any width of spectrum between 240 and 960 megahertz. You can set the span in one of two ways. Method 1. Choose a center frequency and then a frequency span. The center frequency defines the central frequency and the frequency span defines the total width of the scan. For example, if you choose a center frequency of 530 MHz and a span of 10 MHz, the Rack Pro scans between 525 and 535 MHz. Method 2. Enter a start and stop frequency. Simply input the first frequency you want to scan in start frequency and the last frequency you want to scan in stop frequency. The Rack Pro returns a scan between these two values. The module option serves no functional purpose. The attenuator menu controls how spectrum data is displayed. The calculator option determines how vertical lines representing frequencies are displayed. It offers five different ways to display data. The normal option returns an entirely new data set each time the frequencies are scanned. No calculations are performed on the data. This is the preferred option for real-time analysis. The max option uses peak values for each frequency in the scan for the last set of iterations. It displays the maximum values gathered in one set of iterations. You can set the number of scans or iterations in one set by going to the Iterations option lower in the Attenuator menu. The Max Hold option shows the peak values for each frequency for an infinite number of iterations while still showing the live, real-time value underneath the Max Hold line. To elaborate further, Max Hold draws the highest amplitude signal it finds on top of each frequency within the span continuously. The Average option calculates the average signal strength of data in a scan over whatever number of iterations you set. The Overwrite option is similar to the Max option, but you can clear the iteration catch by hitting the Return button. We recommend using Normal or Max Hold modes for most applications. Use Normal mode to view spectrum in real time, and Max Hold to track down brief, transitory signals or interference events. You can set the number of iterations the Rack Pro uses for average and max modes by toggling down to the Iterations option. The number of possible iterations is between 1 and 28. We recommend keeping the iterations at their maximum possible value, 28. Top DBM and bottom DBM allow you to scale or zoom the y-axis. Changing these two values changes the way the amplitude of the scan is displayed. Top DBM sets the maximum amplitude level that's displayed on the screen. Think of this as the ceiling. Bottom DBM sets the minimum amplitude level displayed on the screen. Think of this as the amplitude's floor. Changing amplitude floor and ceiling is a frequently needed capability. 
it's often necessary to readjust the relative scaling in order to obtain a better picture of the spectrum. You do not need to navigate into the menu to make these changes. Simply use the up or down arrows when viewing a scan. The offset DB option allows external attenuation or gain value to compensate for external devices like attenuators or amplifiers. Unless you're an advanced user, the offset DB option should not be changed from its default. The Units option lets you choose whether signal strength is displayed in dBm or decibel microvolts. Most frequency coordinators use dBm. We recommend keeping the Rack Pro on dBm. The Configuration menu provides additional options for how spectrum data is displayed. The Backlight option changes the brightness of the screen. The contrast option changes the darkness of symbols in relation to the brightness of the screen. The USB BODs should not be changed from its default value of 500 kilobytes per second. The draw option changes how the amplitudes of each frequency within a scan are displayed. Fill mode creates a series of vertical bars. Vector mode draws a line across the tops of the frequencies within the scan. The marker option is important. This option changes what information is displayed about the frequency marker. The frequency marker displays information about a single frequency. In manual mode, the frequency marker can be manually moved from one frequency to the next, using the rotary wheel. In peak mode, the marker automatically hops between the strongest frequencies. None hides the marker. The DSP option should not be changed from its default setting of auto. The operational menu should always remain on Spectrum Analyzer. There are no additional options available within the operational mode menu. The Wi-Fi Analyzer, Signal Generator, and other options refer to other RF Explorer modules and are not available in the Rack Pro. For more information, visit rfvenue.com.